All right, I shall have one. Uh, first and foremost, I want to give her all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Bakakwadash. And I'd like to give her double honors unto the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone. And uh, much blessing to your brothers out there, Lebanon in truth and sincerity, man. Okay, uh, this is just going to be a lesson, man, concerning um, just a response um, on our uh, uh, gun ranges and uh, uh, HOI. I believe the group is HOI. I uh, speak uh, going to the gun ranges and uh, they spoke uh, concerning uh, Esau's blessing. And they said, uh, you know, because uh, Esau was blessed with the sword, so they have to tap into that man, okay? Which that does, does not make sense because uh, how can you tap into somebody else's blessing, man, okay? Esau was the one that was blessed uh, with the sword, okay? Esau is the one that's gonna, that's, how can you fight him with something that he was massively blessed with, man, okay? All different types of weaponaries and all different type of military equipment and, uh, uh, uh you know uh, uh uh all these different weapons that Esau has created man okay how are you gonna try and fight him with that okay because number one thing is yeah first of all Esau, all them little tactics that you're doing and all those little tactics that you're training for and you're shooting and whatever man Esau can see all of that man okay Esau, Esau is trained Esau has as um has advanced himself to be able to like they turn off they want to fight a space invasion okay and you think they're worried men about some hebrew israelites with guns men okay they are ready to to create their because you know Esau believes there's a they, they know for a fact is here there's a there's a there's a there's gonna be a they know for a fact there's gonna be a an invasion from outer space with uh with uh with uh with the with the, the kind of power that's also outside of this world and that's what they're preparing for okay if they know that and they've got they've got enough uh they are pumping their chest at them and then you think they're worried men about some 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 hebrew some black hebrew let me say some black hebrew israelites with uh with a pistol at a gun range man okay and you wanna you wanna tap it into israel's blessing man you know that it doesn't really make sense man okay overall it paints a very bad picture concerning this ministry okay because everybody number one thing just the way we speak uh boldly uh they call us radicals man okay i agree they call us radicals aggressive because i was reading the article uh concerning uh on a uh, business inside them I mean, and they said uh they're all uh hebrew israelites they're always yelling and in yelling at passerbys and intimidating them okay they're already paint painting a bit bad, bad picture uh concerning the the israelites and then uh, they, and in the same article they said uh, they, uh these groups are becoming more and more militant okay that's an excuse man, for them to send in to start to uh to start uh to start uh sending uh more aggressive uh uh police forces and militant uh uh for the for the israelites man okay and you guys are, are giving them more and more excuses for them to do so man okay uh, so you know it's, it doesn't make sense, man, for you guys, man, to try and say let's tap into Esau's blessing uh, by going to train ourselves to arm ourselves with weapons and uh, going to gun ranges and train, man. All right. But anyway, this is what the Lord said, man. Okay, this is Matthew 10 and 16 it says, "Behold, I send you forth as sheep." Okay, behold, I send you forth as sheep, man. What's a, what are the traits of a sheep? Okay, timid okay uh uh the ship is weak it's timid you can grab a shipman and pin it down quickly man okay if you take a ship to uh, to go and kill it man it's not it's, it's not gonna match it's not gonna be it hasn't got much in it in itself to fight you back man okay okay it says as behold i send you forth as ship in the midst of wolves okay a ship in the midst of wolves man is dead Okay, a ship in the midst of woods has no has no it has no any fighting chance whatsoever, man. And that's what the Lord used as an example of. Uh, uh, that's how the Lord sent us among these people, man. Okay, sent us as shipmen to be humble, man, to be in weakness. All right, be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as dwarves. Okay, a dwarf you can grab a dwarf with one hand; it's not gonna do anything to you, man. Okay be for as wise as serpents that's that's the only power that we have man the wisdom that the lord has gave us man okay be be ye therefore uh be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as dwarves 
as doves, man. Okay, so all this military training, man, is, you're really bringing a bad name, man, to uh, to Israel, man. All right, uh, let me get in my next scripture. You know, um, this is First Corinthians uh, six, and I start from uh, uh, from the first verse. Says, "We then, as workers together with him, beseech you also that you receive not the grace of the, of the Most High in vain." For he saith, I have heard thee in the in, in the time accepted, and in the day of salvation have I have I succoured thee. Behold, now is the acceptable acceptable time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Giving no offence in anything, that the ministry be no blamed. Giving no offence in anything, that the ministry be no blamed. Man. Okay, and this is why the apostle said, man, if you if you're gonna get arrested for anything. Okay, if you're gonna get uh, prosecuted for anything, let it be simply for the word segment. Okay, let it be simply for the word segment for doing the work of the heavenly Father, man. Not not being found with uh with a gun or doing some damn thing, man. Okay, because you can there's being persecuted for your how shy sick and being persecuted just for some damn shit. Okay, you are in the truth, but then you still get persecuted for some damn shit, man. Okay, and the scripture tells you be as wise as serpent, man. Okay. Uh, my next scripture is uh, uh, Ephesians 10, Ephesians 6 and 10. It says, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. Okay. Be strong in the Lord, man. Not in a, not in a, in a, in a, in, in the sword. Okay. It says, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Of who? Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, man. Okay. Put on the whole armor of the Most High, that ye may be able to stand against the walls of the devil, man. What? Putting on this this truth, man. Okay, this whole truth, 100% of it. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. This is not a physical fight. Okay. The Lord did not send us as sheep among wolves for a physical fight, man. Okay. He said, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of this darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places, and the rulers of the and the rulers of this world eventually may now you're giving them an excuse now to send to 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 uh to uh to get carnal on us, man. Okay, because that's all they have, man. They do not have they do not have the spiritual uh they do not have the spiritual the spiritual oil to battle against the Israelites, man. So now you're gonna give them an excuse now to get carnal. The one thing that they have, man. Okay, you're opening your arms to bring forth the one thing that they have, man, which is uh uh something that's carnal, man. Uh they are uh, they are uh, they are the military police, okay, against the Hebrew Israelites, man. Okay, eventually they are gonna do that, man, but don't don't be don't be uh what you call you know, it just shows you man these guys are setups, man, all right? Okay, because Esau wants to roll up on the Hebrew Israelites, man, and then he needs an excuse. And these guys who are set up, man, they're giving Esau the excuse to roll up on us, man. Okay, because it doesn't make sense to, uh, because for Esau, because for the public, it won't make sense for Esau to send his, um, his police, his police forces against the Hebrew Israelites for simply teaching the Bible. So obviously now he's going to need something, uh, uh he's going to need something, an excuse to open that door for him to send his police uh, police forces to crack down on the Hebrew Israelites, man. And this is why they label us the black Hebrew Israelites. They label us uh, the, ext the black extremist. Okay. Uh, in the article, he said they're becoming more and more militant. Okay. Because now he's beating up that, uh, that uh, what do you call that, man? That, uh, that demonizing uh, profile, man, against us, man. All right, and you guys are opening the doors for Esau, man. Okay, you gotta say we gotta say spiritual in this truth, man. Okay, it says wherefore take unto you the whole armor of the Most High, that you may be able to withstand the day. You might be able to withstand in the evil day, having done all to stand, man. All right, the, and the evil days are coming, man. Especially when they start bang, when they start um, uh, busting through those doors, man, to arrest brothers, man. Okay, stand, stand, therefore, having your loins get about with truth. Not with bullets, man. Okay, not with ammo and uh, different types of guns and knives and everything. Okay, and having your breastplate, your breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the uh, with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Okay, peace to the nation of Israel. All right, and it says above all, taking the shield of faith. 
going to the gun range is not faith man all right going to the gun range you, you're giving yourself second options and third options and uh escape plans and um you probably have uh food stored up in your basement somewhere man for uh for when uh for when for uh for when uh when the famine beca- uh, gets here man all right you probably have uh, uh an underground bunker somewhere man with food stored up tins of food and everything you, you know just for just in case or the f- just in case is no faith man okay where with ye where with ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked man it's like for the demonizing all right the demonized like the demonizing that you see concerning the uh the black hebrew israelites man that's part of the fiery darts of the wicked man and take and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of the most high all right and the sword of the spirit which is the word of the most high and this is all the heavenly father has given us man all right because that's 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 the best that's the best weapon that we that's you know because listen at the end of the day man it's it's gonna the the heavenly father is the only one that's gonna be exalted when everything's all done and dusted man because at the end of the day it's through the heavenly father that we are gonna be saved okay at the end of it it's, it's the heavenly father that's gonna fight for us and the, the the fact that we live another day or eat or eat or anything is gonna be by the heavenly father yahweh bashim yahweh shai all right and it says uh matter of fact let me get uh hebrews 4 Hebrews 4 and uh because this is uh Hebrews 4 and 12 it says for the word of the monster is quick and powerful and sharper than any two edged sword. Okay, so this is that's the that's the this is our weapon man. The word of the heavenly father piercing even to even piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and this is why because Esau is being pierced man okay this is why they want to say now they want to get carnal they want to they want they want an excuse now to use their blessing man which is the sword man okay that same blessing that you want to tap into man which that's that's the, that's the most as carnal as hell and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart man okay if you're watching this video right now man you know that's you know that's gonna that's gonna be cutting you cutting you too man okay because the things that you're doing or the way you're portraying yourself is 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 not according to the heavenly it's not according to the word man okay you're going off man with that with that type of uh uh practice okay gun ranges and all that man all right because there's brothers men that are sickly there's brothers men that do not have access to any of those things okay there's brothers brothers listen the lord has, has taken has taken um uh has taken the weak okay the script uh second uh, first corinthians the second chapter says the lord has chosen the weak okay to confine this the mighty man all right because at the end of the day it's the heavenly father that's gonna be that's gonna be uh and that's gonna be uh uh exalted in that time because every, every when everything is done and dusted uh it's gonna be it's gonna be everybody's gonna say because of the heavenly father we were able to eat or we're able to uh to uh to live another day or we're able to attain salvation man not because of yourself man all right uh this is second corinthians uh 10 and 3 says for 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 though uh say for though we walk in the flesh we do not war after the flesh okay for though we walk in the flesh we do not war after the flesh okay for the weapons of our way for our for the weapons of our welfare are not carnal, but mighty through the through but, but mighty through the most high. Okay. Let me read again. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the most high to the pulling down of the strongholds. Okay, it's everything is through the heavenly father, man. And this is why brothers, every time they do a video, the first thing they say is uh all oh, praise and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rakakodash okay verse 5 it says uh casting it says uh casting down imagination and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of the most high and bringing and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of yahweh shaman okay 
Um, let me see, cause I, uh, now concerning uh, the situation of ESO rolling up, uh, rolling up on us. Uh, let me see. All right. Uh, so let this bear with me a second. All right. Uh, anything, any cause the apostle did say, man, anything, anything, any type of news, good news or bad news, it still puts the vibration of Israel out there, man. Okay, because business insider is, you know, it, it it's, a, it's, a, it's a, you know, your, it's a, the website. That's the one they, they're speaking about the Hebrew Israelites. It's a, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's like a business. It's a business, a uh, newspaper or magazine or publisher. Let me say they speak uh, politics. They speak uh, business. Okay, the uh, the different things going on around the world. Okay, and that, that, they've just made a full article uh, on a. Uh, Matter of fact, let me see if I can get it. it says, uh, who are they? Let me see if I can get that. Um, business insider. All right, uh, there we go. Okay. Just bear me for a second, like if it's just load up. Alright. Now Alright. Now this is uh, from the uh from uh from the uh from the uh from the publisher uh, Business Insider and they just published uh, an article concerning the Hebrew Israelites. Say, here's what here's what to know about the Black Hebrew Israelites, the group of protesters that has shot to the center of the uh, Covington Catholic controversy. Ca Covington Catholic controversy, man. And now every, every brother knows the situation. Now they just had a whole article published concerning the Hebrew Israelites, man. Okay, even though you had uh, some bits in there that demonizing and everything. But at the end of the day is yeah this gets the attention of the world man okay this is this is pretty much free advertisement okay because there's a whole there's you know the elector out there and the elect are seeing things like this and then guess what the elector gonna do man google it black hebrew israelites let me check this out okay because at the end of the day man the lord is gonna bring at the end of the, the word of the heavenly father is not gonna go out void okay the lord is gonna bring in his ship one way or another by uh, uh by positive press and negative press man okay now let me go to my uh, script this uh second corinthians 13 and 8 it says for we can do nothing against the truth but for the truth this is all nothing but for the truth man all right all these are uh, all these uh media uh, attention that the hebrew israelites are getting okay it's all for the truth all right let's let me get my next this is matthews uh 16 and 18 say but it says and i say unto thee thou art peter and upon this rock will i build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it meanwhile the gates of hell man pretty much esau's kingdom man okay beginning with their elites all the way down man okay and this is an example of you know pretty much the gates of hell trying to prevail against the truth or against the church of yahawashai 
and you know it's 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 it's, it's but all all that's doing is putting us on a, on a, on a, on a, on a, on a bigger platform okay uh bringing attention to us man all right and getting more, a lot more people coming online now to check out these videos man because they you know on they did they put different clips uh uh concerning the hebrew israelites okay and they, they know that youtube is the major platform for the hebrew israelites man so what do you think a lot of people are gonna go to find out uh what this whole hebrew israelite movement is all about all right now let's go to acts 5 and uh and 38 it says uh acts 5 and 38 and it says and now i say unto you refrain from these men and let them alone for if this counsel of this work be of men okay if this if this counsel of this work be a carnal work okay gun ranges and stuff it will come to naught like the black panthers when that black panther the martin luther king movement all that shit man came came to you know hit a brick wall and stopped immediately man all right but if it be of the most high ye cannot overthrow it lest happily ye found you lest happily lest happily ye be found even to fight against the most high man so all these people man they are fighting against the most high okay this is this is the heavenly father's counsel man okay this is the heavenly father's work where is that this is the heavenly father's work in the earth man okay before before the end of the world the heavenly father did say man uh uh when this gospel shall uh shall you know shall compass the whole world man all right so this is all the heavenly father's work and you can see now that you know it's getting more and more attention now okay now let's go to this uh my last couple of precepts okay uh this is psalms 44 44 and 4 it says thou art my king almost high command deliverance for jacob through thee will i push down it says through thee will i push down our enemies through thy name will i trade them under thy rise up against us through who the heavenly father man okay who's fighting for us the heavenly father through thy name will i trade down will i trade them under that rise up against against me there's the name again there's the name the strong tower okay the name of the lord is a strong tower and the righteous runneth to it man okay it says for i will not for i will not trust my bow neither shall my sword save me there you go for those guys man that are, that are trying to type it uh tapping into the uh uh the uh the gun range the uh Esau's blessing for i will not trust my bow neither shall my sword save me but thou hast saved us from our enemies and has put them to shame that hated us okay in the most high we boast all day long and praise thy name forever seller okay let me read verse 7 again uh psalms 44 and 7 says but thou hast saved us from our enemies and has put to shame has put them to shame that hated us man okay so who fights for us man the heavenly father man all right uh let's go to our psalms uh 33 and 16 it says there is no king saved by the multitude of an host even if we had an army okay that's not gonna save us man a mighty man is not the a mighty man is not delivered by much strength and horse is in vain for safety neither shall he deliver any by his great strength okay behold the eyes of yahweh are upon them that fear him upon them that hope upon them that hope in his mercy and that's what it's all about man okay you know you, you don't gotta go train yourself military and uh and uh and uh collect all kinds of ammo and uh store all kinds of food man your uh, your hope is in the hope of the lord's mercy and this is why you have to do what they have what the lord did uh said to do man okay learn this truth and teach it okay because you're hoping in the lord's mercy okay says to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine our soul waiteth for yahweh he is our help and our shield okay not your salesman for our heart shall rejoice in him because we have trusted in his holy name there goes the name again okay let thy mercy o yahweh bashim yahweh shai 
be upon us according as we as we hope in thee okay so who fights for us man it's the heavenly father man all right so you know you know going back to the main point i was making of this video man okay the lord sent us as sheep in the midst of wolves because at the end of the day man is the heavenly father that is fighting for us man okay at the end of the day is at the end of the day the heavenly father is the one that's going to be exalted and that's going to be praised in the earth man all right um uh, let me get this i had that on deck as well this is isaiah 2 and 17 it says and the loftiness of man shall be bowed down and the haughtiness of men shall be made low and yahweh alone yahweh alone shall be or yahweh bashim yahweh shai alone shall be exalted in that day all right i'm gonna close it on that i hope that was edifying okay at the end of the day I mean our hope is in the lord man okay and I'll, I'll leave it there and until next time i hope that was edifying i'll say shalom